Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step explanation how to install AWX to MicroCase. Let's talk about a little bit system requirement because it's important when you do this in lab environments at home. What steps we will do? The first steps is install MicroCase using Snap Package Manager. The next steps is enable services DNS storage ingress. Activate the features that uh, we will need later to have a working cluster. The third part of this explanation is deploying an, the AWX operator. What is the AWX operator? The AWX operator creates a CRD, custom resource definition, that extends the API with objects that describes AWX installation. The operator also deploys a pod that watches for this object and performs the actual installation of AWX. Uh, next steps is deploy AWX from AWX operator. Here you need to define a YAML file and that describes your AWX installation. And the next steps is create ingress. We will create YAML file which describe ingress settings and also define domain name in here. And the last part of this explanation will be get password for user admin. We generate random password with command and login to our AWX server. Please subscribe to my channel in this link and you don't miss a new video about network automation. I created a new playlist about network automation. If you didn't watch, please watch my video in the corner. Okay, let's get started. At first we need to install MacroCades. When MicroCades is installed, you need to run following commands. It allows you to run commands without needing sudo privileges. And relogging. Now I enable necessary addons like storage, DNS and ingress. Let's check status if our addons enabled. I didn't see ingress controller is enabled. Let's do this command again. Let's enable it one time more and check. OK, ingress is enabled. As you can see, it is important to check status of our addons because if not enabled ingress controller, you don't have opportunity to access AT ports. Create alias in order to use short kubectl in place microcades.kubectl. Let's git clone AWX operator. Go to folder AWX operator. and switch to latest branch. Now create namespace for AWX. My namespace is Ansible AWX and I will deploy my all components into this namespace. Now instant package make. It allows us to make deploy AWX operator.
let's check status our deployment. As you can see, I don't have ready my containers. I have to see 2 slash 2 ready and status running. It means our deployment is ready for deploy AWX. It takes a couple of minutes. If ready shows 2 slash 2 and status running, that means AWX operator deployed. Now let's create our deployment file, YAML file. And apply deployment to namespace Ansible AWX. And now our AWX server deploying and PostgreSQL deploying. For me, it takes a lot of time, about 10 minutes for this deployment. At first, it will separate the deploy PostgreSQL. As you can see on my screen, pending status. When PostgreSQL status is running, after that, we'll be start to deploy other four containers. Make sure you have 4 slash 4 containers and status running. You can check ports that AWX is listening. This port 30080. Go to browser and check. As you can see, our AWX open it. After that, you need to deploy ingress controller for AT port. Let's create ingress. I copy it config and don't forget to point your DNS name. Apply ingress controller. And don't forget your namespace Ansible AdBlix. Let's check again by port 80. It looks like works properly. And the last step, you need to get password for your admin user. Copy this generated code. Go to web GUI, user is admin, and copy password. As you can see, our AWX is deployed. Please subscribe to my channel and don't miss my new video. Thank you for attention. Bye bye.